So, so you might be able to reset. Oh, are we leaking that too? Are we, are we leaking that? <laughs> it leaks everywhere leaked, today. Leaked. I guess it happened. Um, we need, we better uh, pass yeah. it to Dane before we leak the whole yeah, game. Yeah, pass it to Dane. Pass it to Dane. <laughs> uh, Dan's going Dan's to gonna, Dan's gonna kill me. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Fateless Podcast discussion. We've got a fun one for you today, talking about some of the different concepts around the masteries systems within these kind of games. And I'm going to be joined by Sham, Dane, and also our special guest today is YST. So YST, go ahead and introduce yourself and let everybody know kind of what you do and who you are. How's it going, everyone? Obviously, go by the name of YST. I'm a Rage Shadow Legends content creator, and I'm also a part of HH Gaming. For the past year um you know deep diving into article writing and champion ratings and so many different components um to what we do over there so and i'm obviously super excited to be here as well because i've not joined any of the fateless discussions yet so you know a bit of a newbie see what you guys yeah, are getting and, up and to so with far. you being at hh yeah. gaming you know uh it's kind of a a correlation there a lot of the same yeah. people are working together on different projects so i'm sure you kind of know what's going on a little bit right yeah Welcome to the party, man. Yeah, it's it's yeah. been a minute since we saw you uh, at, at TwitchCon. How you how you been? How you been since then? Yeah, not too bad. Thanks. Like Vegas was uh, an experience. It was cool to meet you guys for the first time out there, and yeah, man, a lot of fun. Never been to a TwitchCon before, but you know, why is he hustled yeah. us in our uh, in our in person poker game? He he was like, oh, I've never played. Can you guys teach me? Can you guys teach me cards? Oh, work. Oh, I, I have aces. And all of a sudden, we teach him. Yeah. He puts on his sunglasses, and he's he's winning. He's just raking the table. So it was. I, I watched too many movies, right? So I just seen all right, poker face, sunglasses on. You know, we're trying to play it good here. The rest of that was just straight out fluke. I was whispering to Deadwood Jedi, like, bro, how how do I play this? Like, is, is this a good oh, card? Deadwood here. <laughs> Deadwood. Uh, yeah. Amazing. That's funny. Amazing. With Deadwood, uh, actually, when we were we, we were playing blackjack, he was sitting next to me and I was like, I was like, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? He's like, all right, you want to you want to hit? You want to hit? This is the odds are good. And I'm yeah. like, all right. All right, Deadwood, let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's funny. Well, Sham, uh, go ahead and get us started with uh, with launching the uh, the masteries discussion and what's on your mind with that topic currently. Yeah, so we're we're, you know, when we were initially thinking about this topic, we were like, okay, well, we're gonna have masteries. You know, it's pretty. It's something that's pretty familiar to anyone that's played any of these games, any 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 uh, hero collector, or really any you know RPG of any sort. Um, but I think we we decided to kind of go in an interesting direction, and I figured there would be kind of a cool um topic for us to, to kind of go over so i figure uh we can just kind of briefly go over it and then we can talk about you know you can you can react and tell us you know what you think so um obviously the fundamentals of it are that it's supposed to give you you know masteries meaning they're going to give you further depth or specialization on on your hero's build um they're like options that are achieved through mastering the elements of the game. That's kind of like they should, you know, make the game more fun and more customizable. So you know, you'll have your gear and you'll have your, you know, the different uh, uh, leveling process. You'll have all different elements that you can adjust there. But this is kind of like another another lever to to pull on that. And they should be adding depth, but not adding a lot of needless complexity, right? So that's kind of like the the main pillars of of the design. One of the things that we decided to do that that I think is pretty unique is. You're going to have these these trees, which I guess is is pretty familiar to to anybody that understands what masteries are, um, and you you pick one of the trees. Um, but what you can slot into the 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 different the slots that you get that um, you know per rank that you rank up your character or per level as you as you uh, uh, as you get further in the game is that you you'll be taking an account wide achievement and placing it into one of these slots. So. If you, I'll just, I'll do an, an example, right? So let's say I, a really simple example of this would be, all right, one of the achievements could be, you know, defeat the first boss, like a re- one that we know everybody's going to I didn't know we so. were leaking this, by the way. This is epic. Leak. Okay. We're just leak, leak, <laughs> okay. leak. Okay. Okay. Don't, Great. Don't tell uh, Dan. Don't tell yeah. Dan. Hopefully they don't uh, watch this. Uh, you know, <laughs> tune in. This is, uh, this is good stuff. Go ahead, Sham. Yeah. No, no. They, they Listen, I, uh, I, I think that, I think we want to get this out. We want people to, to know because it's, I think it's a really cool system. And I think people are going to be excited about kind of like the the treasure hunt of getting these achievements. But I'll make a really I'll do a simple example. So yeah, you know, like like I said, you you beat the first boss, you get um, a uh, a mastery that says five percent extra damage against bosses. You know, really simple thing like that, right? And then that would fit into one of these slots. So let's say that was we called that an offensive um, mastery. 
then it would fit into only into the offense tree. And let's say that it was a tier one mastery, then it would only fit in that tier one slot. And there'll be, we're thinking at least, and this is still in design, right? So that's why it is kind of a leak. But um, we're thinking there'll be six slots for the six ranks and then for for uh, a second tree for level 60. That's that's kind of like the, the concept. So you might have a tier one common uh, mastery that you put into your offense tree. That's like one that you could get. Or you could get a tier three, you know, um, again, let's say you're in the offense tree, offense one that is that is rare, right? It might be more interesting or, or harder to get, or it could be legendary and it's really hard to get and it's bespoke and it's not like any of the other um, masteries that you've got. So, so that's the general gist of it, right? Uh, yeah. you, you can imagine all the different ways that you could get achievements and then, and therefore masteries. There'll be really secret, you know, there'll be lots of hidden ones. There'll be lots of ones that we make obvious right away so that you know what to chase. Um, but yeah, I guess. Yeah, so um, I'll, I'll pass it to, to, to YST first because this is probably his first time hearing of this. What's your mm -hmm. gut reaction? Uh, you know, be honest with us. You know, what, what's your gut reaction when you hear that? If you were coming in as like a, a HH Gaming is going to cover this game and you were like, oh, that's how they're doing the mastery system. What would be your gut reaction? Um, uh, from first glance, I, I love that customizable element. And as you were saying, the kind of achievement masteries, I thought was a bit of a take. Do you want to just like run me through a little bit of that? Because that's one thing that out of all of that sniped my attention. So are you saying, obviously, you get your farmable masteries, as you do in many games out there. But then you're saying there's some secret ones that you can attain by completing certain tasks. I think that's a really cool um, take on mastery. I, can, uh, I haven't I, seen personally. I can do a yeah. sham unless you want to. No, no, get in there, um, get in there. Yeah, so like you know how in um in in raid some of your most powerful masteries they're just there like you make your account you grind your minotaur and they're yeah. there, in the system that we're thinking um you would earn more and more powerful masteries so mm -hmm. you beat the final stage of the final dungeon within a certain amount of time and you would earn something strong like helm smasher you know ignore twenty percent defense but as you achieve more things in the game you would unlock more powerful elements to add to your build via masteries. But you'd to, also to, be given, to any build yeah. to any yeah. of your characters, that, and that's what's yeah. key, I think. Here, you wouldn't have to do it with every single character. It would be an account wide unlock. Um, but you so would also have some basic okay. ones to start with. So once you unlock those masteries, then that's unlocked to all of your characters, yes. not just yeah. um, the specific ones that you yeah, find. It's tied to, to an achievement system. It's like it's like as I'm knocking out these, you know, 100, 200, whatever barriers, I'm earning things to now customize builds further and. We were thinking we're going to kind of slowly be able to introduce the player to more and more mechanics and more and more things as mm -hmm. they learn the game more and as they progress more. So what would it be like a, a cap of those masteries? So obviously you get your default ones, the ones that everyone can get. And then as you're unlocking these, and let's just say the, the future of the game, right? And, you know, you're getting more elements and all of that good stuff. Um, would it have to be like a switchable element? So you've had this one before and now just to like not add to a crazy power creep. Or would you say you could just keep adding those foundations onto your well, account? You, you only have a certain number of slots, right? Yeah. So so you've got these six slots. And then let's say you get a really powerful one. Well, it might take the slot of another really powerful one. And now you have mm -hmm. to decide, well, do I want Helm Smasher? Or do I want this new thing that's it's different. It's just a different, it's very powerful, but it's in a different way. I, well, maybe I want it for, for some characters, but I don't want it for other characters. And, and so basically it's like you get this expanding set of choices. You start with something that's, that's quite simple, very easy to understand. Yep. Maybe it's just a percent upgrade to stats or it's, uh, you know, you get more, more gold when you, when you, when you farm or something, it could be like a resource type of deal. Mm -hmm. um, but then as you go through the game and you discover, you're like, oh, wow, I just got this really cool one that affects my poisons man I, now i need to check my poisoners this looks this is this could be great for them oh it's tier three defense huh maybe i want to switch with this character is it really gives you that customization right it gives you that feeling yeah. of whenever I, I did something cool and and new and different or just i did something in the game uh -huh. i earned something and it has it has value pretty i mean across the account that that's actually what i what really excited me about this this idea yeah and no no that's actually very that does sound very exciting like you can get so used to a specific mastery tree you know exactly what's going there but i feel like 
for a future of a game as well to last a long time. Like being able to add these extra elements could be exciting for those end game players as well, right? And let's just say you drop a, a new boss or a new dungeon or, you know, whatever that may be. And, you know, this new special mastery could be the key to take this down with champions mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. you may have not fought before. So it just drives that conversation factor as well between communities and players and, you know, oh, I did it with yes. this and oh, I did it with this. And I'm a huge fan of that, um, yeah. like the customizable element for characters, yeah. Nice. Huge community driver, but but well, so so Dane, what do you think? Well, one so thing, Dane, oh, sorry, actually, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Well, sorry. One thing that I did want to kind of touch up on is there is specific masteries. I'd give the example for raids such as Evil Eye, right? And mm. this mastery can reduce turn meter. But a problem that Raid had was specific bosses that came out after the initial masteries that we're all used to can actually be have a negative effect on these bosses, right? Yeah, the Griffin. So, yeah. mm -hmm. so the Griffin or the Bomb or the Dreadhorns or whatever that may be. And you're like, damn, it's now going to cost me these masteries. I have to rechange it just for this one encounter. But I feel like, you know, if you're having this mastery for all of your accounts, let's just say, you know, it, it, it as long as it's not negatively impacting specific areas and it's kind of fought through in that way, I feel like it's very important as well. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good shout out. Yeah. I mean, and so, something that we can, we can probably also talk about is the way that we're thinking about um, the masteries is not that you would have to go grind in a masteries dungeon to be upgrading your, your masteries. It's more, mm -hmm. if you want to reset it, there's a, there's a place that you can go to get something, a resource to reset it. Right. So, so you might be able to resource. Are we leaking that too? It leaks everywhere today. <laughs> Leaked. I guess it happened. Um, we need, we better uh, pass yeah. it to Dane before we leak the whole yeah, game. Yeah, pass it to Dane. Pass it to Dane. <laughs> uh, Dan's going to, Dan's going to, Dan's going to kill me. <laughs> Dane, are you, uh, Dane, what's your kind of first thoughts on the, on the mastery system and all that? I mean, it sounds good. It sounds like uh, there's always the element of like, well, this is, this is just what games have. And I think you always want to run or be cognizant of that balance between are you adding these things just so there's more stuff to do or is it like an interesting addition to like your build and obviously in a hero game your build is like a whole team composition each one has their own particular build and it's far more comprehensive than a build in like a Diablo character or a Revenant 2 character or something you guys have even heard of that game um too <laughs> but and we gave think, you a whole podcast about remnant 2 we're moving on <laughs> <laughs> i think what's interesting about that i think the interesting thing and there's really good analogs between stuff like hades remnant 2 does stuff like this with the the hidden aspect the idea that you unlock things that seem incremental getting like point one percent hp this stuff those, those are just moving numbers around it's not very exciting i don't think to a player even if cumulatively if you're ending up with 10 percent hp and 10 percent range damage and 10 percent crit or whatever that, that, that's huge but it's not interesting in the along the way but when you un unlock something that's hidden that you can actually base a build around like some sort of like lifelink or lifesteal, like these are things that can completely change your gameplay. That's exciting. And that's stuff that once I find out about, I think people then are more interested in min-maxing because it, it gives you build opportunities, not just optim min-maxing. Everyone understands min-maxing by this point. It's straightforward. The build opportunities, I think, is what this allows. Yeah. Well, and and I think I think we should touch on the other element that I think is really exciting about this is that is that community aspect, right? So we've got this concept of of you know we have lots of different things like this but for this uh, thing that we've leaked we've got this hidden these hidden uh achievements that people are going to be like oh well i i did this by doing this like here's a full guide i just or, or like or let's say no one in the whole community knew about something now all of a sudden yst you get a message hey hey dude i just found this and this you know like here's how i did it that's super exciting i think that's gonna be really cool and again i think to dane's point if it's just like a, well, it's a 5% boost to HP, those aren't going to be the ones that people are as hyped about. Maybe they'll be excited because it's fun along the way. But those build defining, really interesting, legendary or epic um, level, you know, high tier or, or, or higher tier masteries that people can then get access to. I mean, that's super cool because it really is game. It's like account changing. And that's, and that's mm -hmm. I think, what's what really excites me about this, like I, 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 I love anything where we can get people talking about it and 
and wanting to share their experience because that, that's why I play games. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's why I think we all play games is like, is basically to share those experiences. Right. So, um, I don't know. That, that, that's that's what really excites me about the about this masteries thing. Yeah, and YSD, Any, think about all the video ideas. I just got a mastery by doing this. You you got to go do this now. Secret mastery, you know, uh, massive massive power boost to this and this champion. Yeah, there'll be all yeah. sorts of community interaction on who's discovering what and who's testing different things and who's unlocking different masteries and who shares them with who. So it'll be a little bit more, um, you know, cause everybody knows the mastery system. Like Dane said, you know, it, it's just kind of in games and it, it's like, it's slow stat creep. So we're trying to think outside the box. Like, like what can we bring to that system instead of just have a mastery dungeon and give you a crit rate and give you crit damage. We're trying to, you know, do what we can to evolve it a little bit and then bounce it off of people like you and off of people like the viewers uh, to give us mm -hmm. feedback on kind of what's good and what's bad about that. Yeah, I think like one thing that's very important is um, the complication thing. So let, let, so as the, the game progresses, right, the more of these masteries are getting introduced to the game, you know, for an average player coming in two years, three years later, um, you know, and they're trying to discover what is the best masteries and then trying to indulge. So as long as there's like some form of balance and one thing that I was thinking was, you know, mitigating AOE damage for your team or, you know, you're boosting your turn meter if you've got a certain amount of faction champions in your team or, you know, you grant an extra turn with every fifth attack with your team. There's loads of little quirky ways that's not overpowered that I think would be very, very fun. And it could be the reason why you could beat specific content. And, you know, for me, I, I love strategy. It's the one thing that I've always done, like coming up with new teams and quirky builds. So kind of diversifying that and broadening that spectrum instead of keeping it into one tree, I think is... A really cool. Is there any other? I don't I can't recall any other games that I played anyway that does it like that. That's, That's how we roll. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's an interesting one for sure. Like, I'm trying to wrap my head around the concept and how valuable it would be. But I think overall, it would be a net positive. It'd be interesting to know what people think. It, it, is there anything that, like, maybe an exercise would be like, is there something that you could think of, like, ah, but what about this? Like, like mm -hmm. is there something that, that maybe, you know, and like you said, complexity is maybe, is maybe a good example. But yeah. is there something that you guys could think of, any of you guys, that sounds like, oh, this could this could be an issue if we don't think about this? Because I think that's that's one of the things that are always good about having these conversations is getting different perspectives, yeah, play different games, that type of stuff. Well, one of them will just be the competitive aspect, right? Like getting PvP on point is going to be one of the power plays because let's just say you're facing someone with x y and z and you're still down here mm -hmm. and you know that extra layer of mastery is the decision maker you know it could become problematic over time but i guess like one of the core things is just making sure that it's not affecting dungeon or boss mechanics i think that's very very important mm -hmm. i'm looking forward knowing that Full immunities stuff like, like that, something yeah. that's not gonna affect it completely where okay i now need to switch because I've got this, you know mm. what I mean? Like that's, that's yeah. a big problem. I think. But, yeah. yeah. One, one of the ones that, that I, that I thought about quite deeply is the fact that it's, it's account wide, right? So because, so let's say for, let's just take a, a simple example. Let's say we have 5% experience gained, right? Now that means that if I'm, if I want to get experience, I'm basically, as soon as I get that, I'm basically required to put that on all of my champions that are doing mm -hmm. the experience run, right? I mean, not exactly, but if I want to be efficient, which people in these, in these, in the genre do, that is, that is something that you would, we would have to like, want to think about, or like we would want to lean into. Um, and, and we have some, we have some, con we have some ideas around um, mitigation around this. I mean, again, we could, we could do some spoiling, um, but, but uh, we have some ideas around mitigation for this, but I think that that's the type of thing that I, that I, we want to be very cognizant of when we're looking at the whole and from a holistic view, right? What are all the masteries? Okay. Yeah. We don't want to have something that just says you are immune to poison, for example. Well, now that mm -hmm. du the dungeon that we have that has poison in it is just, it's it, who cares anymore. It doesn't, it does, it's like you just walk in and yeah, do your thing. Sure. We don't want to have things like that, that, that are, that take over the place of defense and resistance and, and other stats that are important. But we want to find, or you know, the way I would go with it is like we want to find interesting things that we can do. Like you said, if I have this particular combination of faction, this particular group of characters, right? This particular ability does this thing, hits X number of times, or whatever. It can it can augment, it can it can enhance those you know those things, those edge cases, as opposed to just giving you a full. I think immunity is just boring in general. Like like mm -hmm. we. 
any immunities are basically off the table. Um, but enhancing things that you're already doing and making them cooler, I think is is more the direction that we would go. But yeah, for some of those, for some of those ones like ex experience or gold, those are kind of watch outs for me. Anything where it's like a grind and it becomes required, that that we have to watch out for. And 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 again, we have I think we have some mitigation strategies around how that could work. People would it would be fine in those in those two cases. But that's the kind of thing I, that I think that we should be paying attention to. Can we talk about the different trees of masteries? Yeah, um, yeah. I think we can so, talk about so YSD, we, we, we're going to, we're currently, obviously all of this is subject to change. Don't yell at us, you know, a year from now, if this changes, we're, you know, <laughs> we're walking people through the process, the thought process. So things could change, obviously, but we're thinking of having masteries like a, like a resource tree. You know how in Ray there's offense, defense support. We're thinking about yeah. having like a resource tree. So let's say you've got your campaign farmer. You could do masteries that increase XP and like silver and all that specifically for a campaign farmer or mm -hmm. like a, or like an optimized dungeon team where you're like, I don't need Helm Smasher. Like I'm going to one shot these waves. It'd be kind of cool to be able to go, well, why don't, why don't I get like extra silver and extra XP and, and take like a resource uh, tree to help me out with that character? What's kind of a, your reaction to that? Yeah, I think that's I'm trying to think. So, so in terms of resources for silver, obviously everyone wants silver, right? We need to rank up our artifacts and all of that good stuff, yeah. you know, because one of the best things in the game. It just comes down to, I'm trying to think of the impl, impl what's the word? Can't even think of the word. Yeah, there we go. Implications of into dungeon battles. So you're saying you can get extra drops for artifacts. Is these the kind of things you're looking at or yeah. is like, it just like, like the silver? Yeah, once you've optimized your team to the point where like you've hit like the stat thresholds. Well, now mm. I can think about switching into buffing drop rates or getting extra silver or getting extra this. Or, or, um, extra or let's go even cooler. I can specifically go like I can augment my chance to get certain drops, right? Mm -hmm. So let's just say, I don't know, let, let's use the ray analogy since you're coming with the ray. Like a fury, let's say for whatever reason you want fury set, I <laughs> uh, I can augment my chance to to get that. Let's say, and, and we don't know the percentages yet, right? This is still, yeah. this is still in, in design. But let's say that you, know, you put your whole, I really want to get this set. I want to go after this. I want to make it, um, this is, you know, there's an event. And maybe the event, uh, you know, the more of these pieces you get, the, the higher you get, you know, rise in the rank. Let's just say. You yeah. can put your whole team that, okay, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm going after this. Um, uh, I, I, each of my characters has 5%. So I have a 25% chance or, or 30 percent or whatever it is whatever how many number of characters you have to get this set that could be an example of something right or or i have or but let's say well actually i just want volume i want to get more i want to get a, a chance to get a, an extra drop well maybe you could go for that or mm -hmm. i want to like there's there's so many different levers that could be pulled um with the with the system it just i don't know like i i just i get excited talking about it it's it's one of those you know, it's it's, a, it's an interesting one like i think i'm leaning i like the way that you just broke that one down where you know kind of choose your fate where what do you really want in the game well what, what do you hold to value because something that i might want as a player might not be what you want as a player right, right. Uh, i think that's a lot more better than you know getting extra drops of gear and i'll tell you why because i'm pretty sure there's going to be a form of champion training right or not champion training um like gear ascension dungeons or for events sure. and stuff right like you need to get as much dungeon drops as you can dungeon divers there we go um you know and if there's a player that has this master and you don't have it and you're in the same bracket for a tournament you know and this dude's just ramping it up he's getting extra gear everywhere if you're if you're fighting at the same time it could be problematic right but i feel like if you can choose what you actually want and it's not affecting um strategic areas in the game and then affecting tournament brackets well, wait, yeah. well, but, yeah. but the thing is so like let's look let's look at that example because actually i think that example is actually a really good one um if you let, let's let's say let's say we can you you can inspect the people um that uh, i don't know whoever's getting the furthest in in some dungeon let's just say that that's what the the tournament is about or, or the most volume you can see oh man he's got this mastery wait what what is this how does he mm -hmm. he's got five percent and then what do, you, what do you do? Well, you go look up how to get that. Because so, presumably somewhere in the community knows how to get it, right? Mm -hmm. and you Now, some of them might be quite difficult to get. Uh, and I think we would want to be careful about what we put at, at, at different difficulties. We wouldn't want to make something that requires you have 
you know, 10 legendary champions and they're very specific. And then, then we just give it to you. That's like, that's dumb. That doesn't make any sense, but um, maybe they're, they're okay. Well, I have to beat this level. So that's going to motivate you to go do that thing, get that achievement, stick it on, on your champions. Like that's, I think that's awesome. I think that's, that's, that, that almost excites me more. Like that people can, 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 yeah. especially if we can show people how, you know, we have a good window into why this person is doing so well. Oh, wow. They've got this mastery. What? I've never heard of that before. Or, oh my God, they've got this, um, this piece of gear. What? How did they get that? That, that uh, type so of you're, thing is very exciting. So you're going to have an element of click a character. And so let's just say you're in the game, right? And I click Sham's name and he's in my tournament. I'll be able to see what you're rocking. Is that a kind of yeah. direction you're trying to go? That's, yeah, that's yeah, really 100%. good to you. Yeah. We want we want like um you know an a, a more robust account profile where you can see people's like most used champions and who they use for dungeons and mm -hmm. like trophy cases of their achievements. We we want a more robust social dynamic where you can kind of like flip through your clan, look at everybody's profile. Social and, elements are so important. Like not to yeah. go off like topic a little bit, but <laughs> you know being able to interact with friends and create like look at us. We've all become friends off like a online community, right? Yeah. So. You know, it's very important that people can not just have like a, a flat, oh, you know, you're right in some global chat, you know, a bit more in depth, see what builds are going on and can maybe a, a kind of conversation driver, right? Like you want to reach yeah. out to this guy because he's done something that you couldn't do. I think it's really good. Yeah. Right. Right. When, and if, when, when someone, because I, I think some of these will be very exciting, right? So, and we'll probably some have some threshold where maybe in your, in your guild, it pops up. Hey, someone just got this achievement. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Someone just got this achievement and they've got this, they've got this mastery. You'd be like, wait, what, what is this? What did you, what is this? <laughs> That's sick. Like, and, and, and that, and like you said, it's a, it's a conversation starter, right? Like maybe, maybe you're like, maybe he literally is the first person to do it. Right. And you, there's no video up. There's no guide yet. Mm -hmm. um, so you reach out to them and you're like, and, and you're like, dude, how did you get that? Like, what, what did you do? And he's like, oh, well, I'm doing, you know, let me let me let me tell you, I did this whole thing. And and actually I didn't expect this, but I brought this champion in for this and whatever. You know what I mean? Like whatever the whatever the requirements are of mm. the um of the achievement. And uh, so you're not gonna set any blueprints of how to get them. It's just gonna be some kind of like some East, of them will. kind of like back in the day, Halo Easter eggs, right? Like trying to yes. get like some of these <laughs> these helmets that no one yeah. knew where he was. I remember that with my brother back in the day. It's like, you know, oh, where did you find that helmet? Oh, it was here. So you're kind of trying to go that direction of the mystery factor. See, look how exciting that is. Like, like you it still is, remember yeah. that, right? Like yeah. so some of them, yeah, we'll have like, oh, well, you know, along the way we'll have like a quest and and maybe some along the way it'll say, Oh, at this quest level, you're gonna get this achievement, which will give you this uh mastery, mm -hmm. right? But I think there will be a lot of masteries that are completely hidden, achievements that are completely hidden that people can can find, and that's going to be an exciting moment. People are going to people are going to be searching for them, doing weird things in the game mm -hmm. to try to unlock that. No, like, I that's 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 getting me hyped as well. Like just as a player, like, it's my first time hearing about any of this. It's like it's getting me ramped up. Like, I want to I want to get involved. Like where's my master? Why is he ready to ready to make the <laughs> channel? Uh, I'm going to be searching <laughs> everywhere. But yeah, uh, yeah, Dane, let me let me bring you back in here. Um, did you have anything uh, that's kind of sticking out to you in terms of that that whole discussion? Well, it's good that we have a really experienced team working on this stuff. Is anytime you talk about account wide anything, especially on a, a team based game, life steal or speed, like oh, ten percent speed. It's not like the game just your team just now operates ten percent faster. Is you hit all these different breakpoints, mm -hmm. and the cumulative effect could actually and sometimes be egregious. Mm -hmm. You know, like oh, the fact that this move is balanced at working every three turns, but now it goes every three, three, then two, because you know, I'm not the mechanics guy, but I know in other games I've done that sort of thing, and all of a sudden you hit certain breakpoints and the game completely changes. The math gets all screwy and now you're invincible. And, and right. the other you one shot board. everything. And yeah. yeah, and your crits keep multiplying off each other and you get extra turns and it's not fun for the other yeah. people. And it, it's kind of not fun for the player. You can get to a point where like, oh, I just steamroll everything. Um, there's no spiky interest. It's a, it, I went too far. And, yeah, and I'll, I'll, oh, go ahead. No, oh, I'm just saying, and some of the stuff, the other thing that could happen is that some of this stuff feels essential. It could be annoying that people are going to look up, you know, online guides and look at team compositions and they're like, oh, okay, well, once you've unlocked your 5% lifesteal mastery and your speed thing, blah, 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 and they're like, oh, I can't just do that. 
So you're saying I can't even like because people are gonna you know they they compare what they're currently playing, especially in a game like this, to what the meta is. Mm. And they, I think they want to be able to see a clear progression. But I think what they want even more is to make sure the stuff they're doing along the way still feels like interesting and fun. Mm. And then they get that payoff when they get that master, they max a mastery or they hit one of those weird cutoffs, like a 8% crit or let's just say, you know, it feels good. You get bigger numbers, but 10% you start chaining abilities that react off crits and those react off things. And then now you're now you've the engine started and you're like, Oh yeah. And it feels good. You accomplish yeah. something. You get that sort of power fantasy of, um, so I, I don't have anything to add except that it's I think people play these games and they're used to like RPGs and the numbers going up, but the math behind it is bonkers to make it a good play experience. You know, from what I've seen, from what I've seen, our I, I was a mathlete. Through, don't don't worry. And like what you're, yeah, okay. Well, I, that's why I use technical terminology. Yeah, I went to MIT. <laughs> no, <laughs> I went to uh, IIT, which is of course the Midwest uh, MIT. Go. That's what that's what they tell everybody. <laughs> um, I don't. I always like to challenge everything. I don't like to like be blindly uh, positive. And so <clears throat> I would say if I was going to think of like one thing that might worry me about a system, like having a resource tree is would it maybe get to a point where it feels forced? Like, well, if I'm going to farm, if I'm going to build a team, I have to take that tree. Um, Cause I know like coming from the Diablo universe, a hot topic was um, having magic find on gear. And, and the problem was, well, if I can get magic find on my gear, now I'm like forced to do it. And I have to have magic find in my build or I'm just not farming optimally. Mm -hmm. um, so is that a concern where if we do, I think overall, I like the idea, but if I was forced to come up with one thing that would give me pause, would we be pigeonholing players into feeling like if they're building a dungeon team, well, I have to work around this tree. Yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's a good shot. I mean, because I think the, this is something that we we have to be cognizant of in all, you know, if, if you look at the way we design all of these abilities, we get, kind of have this rainbow um, example uh, or, or, or rainbow graph that basically breaks down the power of each of the different elements that we have in the game. So if you think about like base stats, that's got a, a part of it, right? This little rainbow. We've got, you know, masteries. That's going to be another part. We've got uh, whatever equipment. That's another part. In each of those things, we want to avoid, or or, or you, and, in, and obviously in the sum as well, we want to avoid um, what are called non decisions. Basically, so you come into something and you're required to do this to play optimally, right? Uh, if you don't, so it's not a decision anymore. Like you, you, you can't do anything else because if you're if you're not, not doing this, you're not competing anymore. So we want to try to avoid that. Now, some of it is completely unavoidable because. If I'm a if I'm a nuker, for example, okay, well, what am I building for? I'm building for 100% crit. I'm building for, you know, uh, as much crit damage as I can, as much attack as I can, whatever my other scalers are. I'm building, you know, I need, let's say I need, I need to hit uh, my, my debuffs. I need some accuracy. Then everything else is like, I don't, sure, give me the other stuff, sure. But pretty much those are the things that, that you're building for. We can't really get away from that. That's just the nature of the game. There, are, There is... You know, you don't really want to play a nuker where you just go, I'm going straight HP unless you're an HP nuker. Like that's just bad. You're don't, don't make that decision. But we do want to make it so there are in where there are lots of interesting little decisions. And I think to combat what you're talking about isn't to say that we should not do the things that sound optimal is we want to have several different optimal directions or, or, or potentially optimal directions. I think that usually will make it feel okay because sometimes there is going to be a best direction for a certain character. We just want to make sure that it's not for every character or every character in that archetype, right? In that, in that set of, in that group. So if we're doing that, I think that we're going to have a system that feels like, okay, as long, as long as there's enough choices in those, in those trees that we give you in those two trees um, for, for every build, then I will feel like we're, we're in a good spot. Right. And, and, you know, and again, there's going to be some characters where it's like, well, yeah, if you want the literal best build possible, right. If you want to be, if you're in the arena and you want to kit one shot, everybody, every single time, this is what you have to do. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can really do about that. Right. But the vast majority of characters that, that you're going to be playing, 
that won't be that won't be the case, right? That's that's that would be my goal. And obviously we haven't done that yet, but that's that would be the goal. <laughs> so yeah, I mean I I and I think that's I think with any of these systems, anytime you introduce a new any new system, you have to think about basically this, right? Am I making am I making giving players choices that matter and that they're going to care about and am I giving them or am I giving them a bunch of non choices, right? So like the example you were giving with like, okay, let's say it's 5%. If, if every, you know, mastery was just 5% HP, 5% attack, 5% defense, there's always a best choice. It's a non-choice. You just pick the one that your character needs, you know, the most. But if I give you these quirky things where it's like, whenever I give you, po you know, do poison on, uh, or land a poison debuff, I gain 10% turn meter. Well, that's not going to be great for someone who doesn't do poison. And you're not even sure if it's the best for your poisoner. But it's a cool, but it it could be cool in certain combinations, in certain team makeups, in certain builds, with a certain soup, you know, combination soup of of different masteries. You know what I mean? And that that would be the goal. Like you want to have these so cool builds. The the complication factor here is if you've got this one uh, special mastery, right? Because that's what you're going at, right? You're gonna have this one thing that you can intertwine and change around that you unlock, right? So if there's different boss mechanics, so you know your dungeons and they've all got different mechanics. Well, not not just one, not just one. You'll have uh, like twelve. So you have a whole twelve total. So you have twelve special masteries. Yep. Okay. And not not every tier will have very very special masteries. I guess that's the other thing to think about. Yeah. Was, yeah, like, yeah. Let's hear it. Good. Good. No, no. Let's... I'm I'm excited for it. I'm just I like to always think about the bigger picture. I like. Is it going to be cool to do it once? Is it going to be cool to do forever? You know what I mean? I'm just thinking about different boss mechanics doing different things, and you might want. I see scarred by that. I can tell he's scarred by the by I, having to redo. It I, for I will EY. say I think 12 is too much. I, I, I will <laughs> okay. say that uh, from a okay. start. Um, but I feel like you know if a certain boss needs, like you mentioned with the poison example, right? You know mm -hmm. it could be very good for that poison boss. I'm not aware of what bosses there are yet. Um, and you know the other boss might be doing something else that you want a specific mastery for, and you know just having to always swap do you know because we set up our teams no, no, no. right more uh, more on your side less on the receiving of debuff more on, on placing a debuff so if you're yeah. a, if you're a poisoner not if you're being poisoned so that, but there will possible. there will be effects where from incoming as well though right so Pro probably and and, and but yeah. I, yeah so keep going I, I, you're, no, so, you're, no, what, you're, what i'm trying to say is, is like when you're considering all different areas in a game that have these different mechanics and you might need different masteries mm -hmm. And because it's um, going to be going on to all of your champions, not specific ones, it might become a problem of, you know, uh, I, I can't use this mastery for this boss. I need to use this one. And you might have your presets to take down different stuff. And now mm -hmm. you're in that thing where you have to keep switching around because it's on mm -hmm. everyone and you can't avoid yeah, the, it, right? the preset. Well, it's not, yeah. it's not on everybody. Everyone has the option to equip it, I guess. So that's the thing to but remember. But you know, like having, you don't want to be in a phase where you want to equip because you want to beat this and that champion. And, and you know, you, you also... You want you don't want to keep switching around every two seconds because it's a, it's negatively affecting something you might not want to do in a certain area. What if, for example, just as an example, you had like dual masteries? You had like you could you could kind of go back and forth between loadouts, couple, like loadouts, like loadouts. For example, yeah, it's an interesting one because that's something that I fought for. Like just for an example, not to keep going back to raid, but you know, like mythical champions, I always felt like you know having two different forms for certain things could be cool. So if you mm. had maybe a a change of that maybe, but with the masteries where you could switch between different ones, you know, like this tree and this tree, whatever you want to with flexibility. I can see, I, I think if I was to do, because special effects, there's a lot to consider and a lot of maths could get involved well, as well. Just to, just to clarify, by the way, I love the, love the concerns and the criticism. Keep it coming for sure. Um, but I, just to clarify, you're not going to be making 12 like build defining choices. Um, there's going to be different tiers of things that there will yeah. st we're still going to have, have the tier one two two, two like, two like you know how in raid you you pick like 40 masteries you know not not all of them are helm smasher you, you do have some that are simple um so you're not going to be making you know every single build defining decision there's going to be a few right. that are like high tier ones maybe mm -hmm. two or three um so you're not you shouldn't have to like constantly swap out 12 different things there yeah, should yeah, be exactly so like, how like many trees would they be in total so is there going to be like two that you pick? So you have five trees. And you, and you pick two. Oh. Yeah, so five trees, you pick two, plus the extra one as like a team thing. So no, 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 no. So each character, so, yeah. so you'll, you'll have five trees to pick from. I'll just walk you through the whole process. Yeah. There'll be five trees. 
you you got your level level one character. You mm-hmm. pick the you pick your first tree, or at least rank one. So you've ranked them up. You pick your first tree. You get your first tier one mastery. You rank them up again. Uh, rank two, all the way to mm-hmm. six. And then when you're level sixty, you get a whole another tree, big power spike. Whoosh, you get another six of the okay. of the five, right? And that's it. And there's no like there's yeah. no team tree or anything that you get. Yeah, but like, for the special masteries afterwards that you're saying, like the ones that you can collect. So that works technically as a third. These are all these whole. are all collectible. So so each of the so let's let's use the example. I've picked offense. Yeah. Keep going back to this, right? I picked offense as my as the first one. The first node on that one, I'm required to be level one, or sorry, mm-hmm. uh, rank one. So after I'm rank one, there will be. Let's just call them rank one masteries, that are also categorized as offense, that you have that you have to go find with achievements. Okay, I got you. Okay. And then you can slot one of those in, just one mm-hmm. that you've chosen. So it's like not that, not like you've you've now um, after you unlock something, now your entire squad has you know gets gets all this stuff. They just have the ability to equip them if they meet the other requirements. They are rank one. You've chosen offense, um, or if you want your second tree, you're level uh, sixty. That makes sense. Okay, so I, I misinterpreted it from earlier. I thought it was going to be like, um, oh, yeah, it was like, like a great hall of, mechanic, like your yeah, whole I thought, account. I thought it was gonna, I thought it was gonna be like a. Oh, so this whole time, for everything I was saying, I thought it was gonna be like a. You got your masteries for your champions, and then kind of a technically a great hall development process mm. where you slot in twelve of these special masteries that you find that are now going to affect everybody else in the game. Oh yeah, no, uh, yeah. But yep, that's sorry. how I kind of interpreted. That sounds it interesting too. Stuff. That's a cool. Yeah. That's a cool yeah, concept. Yeah, maybe we'll have to we'll have to implement that. But, but <laughs> that's no, how no, I the, thought it was gonna be. Yeah. This is more like like just. That's what so thinking in the raid in raid terms, you've chosen your masteries, mm-hmm. but the choices that you have there, you're gonna have like you know five to ten different choices that you can put into one of those slots based on on how how it makes so much more sense now. I was trying to wrap my head around it the whole time. I was like, you know, yeah, like how's good. this working? Yeah. Because maybe maybe there was viewers out there that that had the same yeah. uh, misinterpretation. So maybe I probably, that was our probably fault just explained for, it poorly for, yeah, for mm-hmm. describing yeah, it poorly. And yeah, it, it, was, it was just me just dreaming. I was like, I'm trying to think of everything. <laughs> <laughs> but so but so based on that, again, so so you you're essentially having if you picture you know in in raid like you said there's like 40 that you pick along the way. There's 12 here, right? Overall, overall some of okay. them, right? So you know six. Uh, on, and again, none of this is like rock, rock solid. Like it's, it's a hundred percent yet, but this is, this is where we're at right now. So you got, you got six slots um, up to, up to level 60, you hit level 60, you get a whole nother set of six from a different tree, mm-hmm. but you have to have some unchieved, you know, and there'll be some basic ones that we'll just give everybody right away. Just so that, you know, if you've done lit, almost nothing, but you decided to rank up your characters and level them to 60, that's fine. You still have stuff to put in. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. And then you, and then like uh, Brad was saying not every single one of them every tier and every um, uh, will have like a completely build defining um, element that you're going to you're going to slot in there'll be there'll be a, a scale right no, That's I'm, I'm, a, I'm a much bigger fan now than what I was thinking before because okay. I, I was just thinking about power creep power creep power creep that's going to yeah, be insane yeah, yeah. but um, but so one thing I did when I was and I'm pretty sure many people are probably going to think this as well is because there is going to be secret masteries, you always want to change, right? It's not that plan of action, just you know what, you're going to go straight away, like boom, boom, bang. And you might want to always swap. Will there be a cost or will it be as much as you want? Um, there, there will be a cost. So so yeah. th- there, there's going to be a cost and we're talking about, so there's a couple different like uh, mitigation things that we're doing to make it so it feels really fun, especially when, you, uh, when you're when you first getting a character leveled up, right? So mm-hmm. I'm not sure exactly, again, don't quote us on this for this is going to be in the game for sure. But right now we're thinking there'll be some grace period when you hit level 60 where you can just change as much as you want. You can just move stuff around, you know, and then um, once you've locked it in for some, whatever through the grace period, then that's where that's when you would go to these, to this mastery dungeon, which will have a secondary um, uh, thing. I I guess maybe we won't, we won't, no more leaks. (laughs) We won't link that right now, but uh, you'll go to the mastery dungeon. You'll, you'll, you can get that resource 
that allows you to reset your tree and then you can just you can you can tweak yeah, so if you're familiar yeah. with um with path of exile yc did you ever play path of exile i haven't no um, well so you build your character they have this massive skill tree that they're super famous for it's like way extravagant is wild. it similar to like that diablo thing where it kind of no, actually it was a diablo we like kind the of paragon build. board diablo yeah like the par is it like that yeah, yeah. Okay. so, so yeah. kind of yeah a good analogy well um in, in path of exile you farm these orbs of regret that that allow you to reset skill points we'll have a system kind of like that where you farm a resource or you get it as a reward from events and tournaments you'll get some sort of resource that will let you reset mm -hmm. these masteries but in our current system you don't have to farm your masteries you you just you, you just get those slots yep. as you're, you level you're up. rank six yeah. You yeah, got six slots. So all that energy over the years on all the gems that you spent on the Minotaur, you're not doing that in our game. You're you're just getting your masteries. That's done. So just so by you're gonna, leveling up. Okay. Yeah. So so yes, um, you will have to farm the capability to move them around and reset them. But like Sham said, we're thinking of other ways that'll make that a lot more fun that we can't leak yet because that'll be a we've already probably leaked too much. <laughs> Sham, Sham and Dane, you know, people say, are gonna you know I blame Dane. Clip I blame Dane. People I are gonna blame regret that. though is a little bit like self editorializing like after you've done all this work you're like oh that was 40 hours of my life well that's that's path of exile that, that's not that's yeah. not that's no, not I know. Our, that's we're we're them. Oh. yeah we don't want the shards of wasting my time mm -hmm. shards of sadness the shards of i should have learned to play the piano or something I love <laughs> like, how it is yeah. orb of regret it's orb of regret <laughs> yeah. Yeah. okay so you're so you're more on board with this then this is this is good any any other uh watch outs anything else that you guys can think of because because otherwise you know I'm I'm putting the seal of approval. We're getting this feature. No, no, but and we can know, obviously we're, gonna, we're still going to be testing it, right? We're going to we're going to say YST approved it. So if you want to, yeah, YST that, said it's good. Oh, that's that's what we're going to say. <laughs> that's right. Like, we, 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 we know where to blame. We know where to put the blame now if uh, if it doesn't work. No, it's it's a very interesting take on it. Like I like for me personally, I will, I'm I can happily admit I don't play a huge amount of RPG games over my years. I'm, I'm more of a well, I have been more of an FPS shooter, story-driven um, console gamer, right? I'd say Raid Shadow Legends was the first time I kind of moved over yeah. um, to this kind of champion collector element in a sense. Obviously, I've tried a few since then. So trying to wrap my head around certain, like what other games have done and what you guys are trying to implement, you know, it's, it's a lot to take in, I guess, but I, it makes me excited. Like I'm thinking about the depth of it, the future of it. It's not going to feel stale, right? And there's a way to, like you said, reset your fate and um intertwine them as new ones come out or if you collect more so i'm actually i like that you didn't go the direction of farming bloody scrolls for five hours every day trying <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to do that yeah. you don't want to just go I, I don't man I don't. it was a big I'm discussion we were, we were split on that as a team uh you know mm -hmm. uh on on how to go that route because it is a very common method in all of these games um and, right. and we were like do we want to abandon that and change that so yeah, that's a difficult one to the thing navigate. Is, I don't think there's I don't think there's a problem with it if there's a way that you can do it quickly because you know the first few times you do it, it's like all right I can do it now like you know just skim through if you've got the energy just buy your it's mastery fine. so you know it's it's all right but if you need to literally sit there manually farm it it does get tedious over years yeah 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 <laughs> definitely nothing like you every every raid player remembers their first mastery grind it, I mean it was just I mean I think Painful. my phone got screen burn I like I was just in the Minotaur. <laughs> yeah hitting replay well because back then i could only do like yeah. stage nine and I, yeah. I, mean, I was just hitting replay for like five days straight uh, oh god well because you don't stage you have to nine, do a full team you have, you have you five have, have multi, we didn't have multi battles back then as well like extra ways to get them it was just your was it your 30 a day and it's like once that's done you better yeah. get your finger out <laughs> it's happening yeah. yeah i was yeah. i remember i was working at the bank and i had my phone in my desk and just every like minute and a half i'd open up my desk hit replay close my desk open my desk hit replay i mean it was just like five days of mastery grinding <laughs> yeah yeah well sp speaking of uh so so things that are coming up we're we're a uh, reminder we're heading out to to gdc uh, i think we're going to announce people you know some where we're going to be i think we'll be we'll be hanging out at some bar or maybe it's this ice cream place i guess i, I was hearing that there's a really good ice cream place i don't know we'll sort it out we'll let you guys know um we're, we, you know, where we are in san francisco if you guys want to connect but unless you guys have anything else, let's uh, want to wrap us out. Yeah, yeah, we can. It's got to yeah. be wrapped though. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I 
yeah yeah as uh as she said definitely uh jump on over into the discord and we'll keep everybody in the loop uh and we're going to be heading out for a trip and we're going to try to do a meetup for anybody that's in like the san francisco area and wants to pop it and say hi but otherwise uh thanks sham thanks dane and a uh, massive shout out to ysd for taking the time to, to give us some perspective and join us on this episode as well so we, and we gave you tons tons and tons of time to think about it right it was super Guys, yeah. literally, <laughs> Sham messaged me on Discord. He's like, yo, do you want to jump on for a Fateless podcast? I was like, oh, what, what are we doing? He's like, oh, we're just figuring it out. I was like, okay. And he said, I said, when is it then? He said, oh, in, in now. I was like, my, God. I've just got home. I'm literally, my clothes are still wet from the rain. I've just picked up my kids from school. I'm like, okay, let's run we into your, it. We, we want your off the cuff uh, thoughts So here, I do want to apologize if anything I said sounded just stupid. <laughs> No, that's well, why you're a legend, man. That's why we, yeah. we appreciate it, man. We appreciate it. No, you did it. great. Uh, YST is always ready to rock. That's, that's why we love him. All right. But it. yep. Thanks, everybody. And we will see you soon in the next episode. Have a good one. See you guys. See you.